What's up guys, welcome to the weekly technical session for March 31st and we are looking at the economic calendar for this upcoming week and just make sure you guys you know, are aware that we are starting a new month tomorrow so this will be a new month as well as we do have NFP this coming Friday so any trades that you guys are going to be taking I would primarily look to trade Monday through Thursday um, ideally, I would look to be out of any trades by like New York session for Thursday, ideally. So looking at the economic calendar, we have a good bit of news for Monday. So 8.30 a.m. we've got some dollar index news, 10 a.m. dollar index, um, late speaker for Canadian dollar, and uh, later on in the day we have some Australian dollar news. So New York session should be nice for tomorrow, Monday, April 1st. And going into Tuesday, we have some Australian dollar news, dollar index again, New York session. Wednesday, a little bit of medium impact news for New York session again. And Thursday, uh, pretty light day, but at the end of the day, uh, Friday is the day that you guys do not want to be participating in the markets because we do have NFP. So I'd recommend staying away from that. And again, as I mentioned, be out of any trades, ideally by Thursday, New York session. So me primarily I'm gonna be focused like Monday Tuesday this week for any trades I see during New York session and um, ideally if I can you know achieve like 40 50 pips between those two days I will stop trading for the remainder of the week so with that being said let's go ahead we'll jump into the charts now and looking at dollar index so last week we were looking for a lower continuation on dollar and we did not get that so we just have calmed down sweep swept these lows and started to push higher again so my eye is basically drawn to this triple top that we've been you know, leaving in place here at 97.70. So first target on the upside for dollar index is 97.70. So this week, just for clarification, I will be focused on a bullish dollar index. And um, really at the end of the day, I, I don't see this thing wanting to trade lower, but if we get back below like really 96 big figure down here, then I'll start looking for lower objectives. But as of right now, where we're at current price action, I'm looking for a higher high to form on the daily above 97.70. Now, once we get above that, will really give me more insights as to whether or not they are going to continue or if they are going to reject above this triple top and then start selling off. So. 97 70 98 big figure those are really my targets on the upside from here um, and if we can get a strong bullish candle closing above this triple top so just to show you guys what i mean see how we had a big strong bullish candle right here if we can get that closing above this triple top then i'll be looking for 98s 98.50s, 99s um, and potentially we got this double top back here as well at 102 so this is longer term but uh we could see a nice run up on dollar index so i am Anticipating that as long as we are above 96 big figure here, which uh, is basically where this market traded into here, found support, swept the lows, and traded higher. So if we get below 96 big figure, then I'll start looking for 95.80, 95 95.20, then down here 94.80, and we got you know this double bottom and all that down here. But as mentioned, um, for right now, I'm looking for higher prices on dollar index. Primarily, I want to see how they get above this 97.70 triple top that they got left in the market here. So if we move on to euro dollar, basically same thing. So last week we wanted to see a continuation higher on euro dollar, and we pretty much, you know, um, after trading above the 14.20 level, sold off, came back, retested this down candle here, sold off, and now we're trading around 12.20s, 12.30s. And um, on the downside, I'm looking for 1.12 big figures, so that's not too far from current market price, about 30 pips. And with a continuation below here at 111.80. And if we scroll out, we have this double bottom here at 111.20. So that will be with a continuation lower. Now again, just like on dollar index, I want to see a big bullish candle closing above those highs. I want to see a big bearish candle closing below this low. So I don't want to see them trade below here wick and then start trading higher. Ideally, I want to see a big bearish candle, something like this one here, trading below 111.80. So that would be ideal. And that would basically allow me to um, further anticipate lower prices on euro dollar. 
All right, and moving on to GBP USD. Notice the significance before we talk about price action. Notice the significance of this 1.30 big figure. It keeps dipping into it, dipping into it, dipping into it, dipped into it again. Um, so just looking at this, I do think they want to run this low here at 1.1260, 1.12. I'm sorry, 1.2960 to 1.2950. So that's really what I'm looking at for a continuation on the downside. If we get some strength on this, um, I'm sorry, weakness on this, I'll be looking for a run below this 1.28 big figure as well. Um, but at the end of the day, you guys should be aware that I'm not really focused on trading British pound right now. It's a little too sloppy for me in here. Uh, we're just kind of bouncing back and forth, but one thing to take in is this 1.30 big figure it has been acting as a nice level of support and we've been seeing roughly 300 pips runs to the upside every single time that it's tapped into that level so they may have used it all up now and uh, are looking to offset any liquidity below the market so my eye is really focused on this 1.2960 to 1.2950 level uh, which is about 70 to 100 pips from where we're at currently and that's relatively easy for cable. We could do that in really a day. Pretty much every single day that you guys have seen recently on this pair is about 100 pips or so in terms of the daily range. So I wanna see whether or not we can get a further continuation lower. Um, but at the end of the day, we could just chop back and forth and continue moving sideways for this pair. So I wouldn't really focus too much on trading British pound right now. Um, for me personally, I'm more so focused on Euro dollar and like dollar CAD, for example. But really, I would just you know open up your trading to any other of the majors outside of British pound. So you can trade like dollar yen, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar CAD, um, really any of that stuff. But I would not focus so much on British pound right now. There's a lot of uncertainty going on with this market in particularly. All right, so looking at Euro GBP, you guys can see um, we've really just been chopping sideways within here. Um, nice resistance though coming in off of this ICT bear shoulder block. So we'll see whether or not they can push this thing up. Um, but I think they'll just probably hold this thing in a consolidation, which will allow both Euro and cable to continue falling lower um, with expected higher prices on dollar index. So if we get that, then uh, that would be most ideal. But if this thing starts selling off, we could see a pretty sharp rally unfold in British pound. But I don't necessarily see that yet. So I'm more so focused again on Euro dollar, whether or not we can get weakness, because if this thing does sell off, that will, and dollar index trades higher, that will promote a pretty nice selling opportunity for Euro dollar, maybe even a, a swing trade opportunity. So that's my thoughts uh, behind looking at this. So, I mean, there's really nothing else for me to say about Euro GBP, but um, if we chop sideways in here, we, we really should have pretty nice movement and volatility in both Euro and British Pound. All right, and finally, before we wrap this up, let's go over Dollar CAD. So this one had a pretty nice rejection on Friday. Um, now, to be honest, I wasn't necessarily expecting that. With the higher high that I posted here above this previous high, I was really looking to see a run above 1.3450, 3470, um, which will take us above this previous daily high. Ideally with a longer term run into the 1.35s, 3550s, 3560s, as you guys can see, I've got this ICT bear shoulder block marked out here. So that's what I'll be looking at on the upside. Um, I don't necessarily think this thing wants to go much lower. We are trading back within these two down candles. So if I draw that out, basically this is the series of down candles before this run up is an ICT bullish shoulder block and it's coming off of weekly support here, which is a weekly ICT bullish order block. Uh, so we'll probably see some a, a nice little pop up in dollar CAD this week. And this will be one of my primary pairs I'm focused on for the week, because as you guys can see, if we get a run up just above the daily high from where we're currently at, that's 120 pips. If we get all the way up to the ICT bearish order block here, that's 220 pips. So overall, I think we should, should see a pretty nice buying opportunity on dollar CAD this week. So for that to basically stay in place, I wanna see price remain above 1.33 big figure. So we can actually take a line and draw it on 1.33 big figure. So I do not wanna see them get below 1.33 big figure. If they do that, then we'll likely run this low here and possibly dip back into this consolidation and the 32s, 1.3150s. So 
again, I would uh, basically keep your eye on these two down candles, anywhere is, and really anywhere is above 1.33 big figure, so we're about 45 pips or so above it now. Um, but I would just be looking for a further continuation to the upside. So 34 big figure, 35, 3450, 35s, 3550s, 36s, etc. cetera. Uh, that's where I'll be looking at for this, especially if we get higher prices on dollar index. So that is really the main things I'm focused on for this week. And if you guys have any questions, just feel free to drop a comment below this video. And I will talk with you guys next week for the weekly technicals on Sunday.